So how to get a gable roof, the pitch you want, and figure out your legs. I'm going to try to explain it. I know I had trouble a long time ago understanding it. I'm all, I almost have to be shouted every time. Cut, the, cut these purlings. I have to make four of them. So, what I do is I take the total span from the building or whatever you're gonna, your structure, whatever it is, which this one is 125 and a half inches, a little over 10 foot. And you need the center, you know, the center, which is Cut that in half, and it's 62 and three quarters, and it's a squared plus b squared equals c squared. You know, your uh, hypotenuse uh, here to there, which is 61 or 67.1. Um, you take three quarters turn that into feet which is 5.3 you times that by your whatever um, pitch you want which the pitch which I'm doing is four and a half which is a uh, weird because it's usually either four or it's five but this one's actually four and a half I'm sure the roof line is settled um, and that comes out to 2385. So you go up on your center line and you would mark 2385. I just did 24 because it's just rounded up and it's easy. So there's your, your center line. already know everything else you would come over here and mark your 67.1 right here or you can go outside the outside and pop your line I mean there's several ways to do it this one um, doesn't have the beam in the structure to hold the, the horizontal I run run permanence for the horizontal so this one's going to have the horizontal beam on all four of them. I'm not real sure if I explain that right. I know it's kind of difficult, but but if you ever want to do something like this and you wanted a certain value uh, um, on your gable, uh, pitch, roof, you want 312 or whatever it is, uh, just use Pythagorean Theorem, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. And when you find this line, you, you don't even have to have this line to do this or to find your angles. Um, and what, what I do is you just lay your material, your beams, whatever, pop, anything you're working on. It doesn't matter what it is, you just lay it up there and throw your square on it or you lay it up against your line, mark it and cut your your angles, it doesn't matter, it, it could be two football fields long, it doesn't matter, it's all going to be the same. But that's how I would find the pitch, if there's someone on a certain pitch, or if I want a certain pitch, or I'm trying to match something. It's pretty simple when you get it down, but I always check it three or four ways, different ways with numbers before I go to cutting. Especially with beans, because beans are pretty expensive. But I am going to cut all this stuff up and I will show you what it looks like when I'm done. I'm cutting all the purling clips out right now. Kind of time consuming. It takes a while. I like to uh, 
cut them myself and then get it in long lengths instead of buying them from the metal yard because I feel like a longer clip's a little bit better. It gives you a little bit more weld on it. Alright, everyone's favorite part, the welding, welding some of the clips on. This one's got a double clip on it, one on one side and one on the other, and it goes in the center of the roof. The front and back ones only get some on the back side. I tell you what, them little magnets, I got a ton of them, and they are the best thing for holding curling clips up when you're on a ladder or in a basket. They make everything so much faster than trying to hold it by hand or use a piece of angle iron to get it straight, clamp it on, way faster. You ain't got any? Get some. They're useful for everything. Double it. Double side. Turn on the clips. Yeah. Obviously, when you and you get them all done, all the clips welded on all of them. You know, the first and the first and the last one, they don't get the double clips. Um, they should all, you know, all, when you stand them up, they should all line up. If you if you did everything just right, it's not too bad. I was also gonna before I end the video um, down here. If, if you didn't have no beams and you're just going to use the horizontal, uh, same size purlin, uh, I wouldn't recommend welding. That's, that's like 10 inches of weld right there on both sides. Um, you can make a tab just like these purlin clip. It comes up off that angle. Uh, you weld the back side too. If you were to weld all that, I mean, that's, that's a lot to weld. And it would probably, uh. It probably messed your purlins up. It, it's just too much weld. But uh, yeah, anyways, it's not too bad. It's the same as a, a you know a big beam. It just purlin moves a lot when you weld it. Uh, when you make gables, uh, I'm about to go inside now. It's getting late. Also, you see, I welded the clips on the inside instead of on top um, because this this is this gable truss is, is or yeah this gable and what I'm doing is going under another one so uh i have to watch how high it is so that's it'd be so much easier to put your clips on top and just roll with it and put your whole you know stick a purlin on top and you know weld well way faster but um in this case i i can't do that in this case but anyways uh till the next one i'll try to come up with something uh hopefully it'd be a pop entrance i'm hoping i'm not sure I might bring y'all back for something else Alright, until the next one.